But I'm, I'm pretty sure the red trace is gonna go up again too. So. Anyway, we got Fawn and Dill sitting down for our game one here at Town and City. This is already one this quarter. Yeah. Yeah, I think we had like, uh, like 10 people. 40, 40 something entrance tonight. Okay. okay. Yeah, so, so we're seeing the Duck Hunt. And, um, yeah, I feel like this, this, this can be a problem matchup for Duck Hunt, mostly because Rob is the type of character that can do stuff like that. Yeah. But also, when it comes to the projectile game, Rob's lasers and gyro is has so much priority over so many other projectiles in this game, where it can be, kind of be hard for Duck Hunt to set up their their space or their traps or their wall. Yeah, no, kind of two opposite problems where like gyro is so hard to delete, so it's going to be blocking a lot of uh, a lot of Fawn's projectiles, and the laser just goes through everything so even when fawn is like hiding behind the gunman the laser's still coming oh yeah and also also the nair man like the, the nair is just that that eviscerates a lot of things in the general area when it mm -hmm. when it comes to what duck hunt does whether it be the clay pigeon sometimes whether it be the can like it's just like, it's a catch-all move at times Ooh, and that's it. Uh, Ooh. all right fawn now on the board uh to keep things competitive right now, but stuck at yeah. the ledge yeah, against once. Rob on Town and City, you're getting arm rotored. Yeah, once again, another rotor arm. Two stops taking my deal with the rotor arm. Yeah, I mean, especially on Town and City, this is I feel like one of Rob's best stages, specifically for that reason. Oh yeah, no, that 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 move on this stage is disgusting. That move in general is disgusting, but on this stage, off stage, oh my god. I am actually curious as to how this was the the starter for for this set because I feel like Town and City doesn't play very well with how Fawn plays Duck Hunt. I feel like it's a lot of utilization of the platforms for uh, you know for projectile setups and the way that the platforms are moving. I feel like gets in the way of that. Yeah, I, I'm not. Yeah, I'm actually not sure what the bands were. Um... I don't know if you can run it back to see, but okay. Whoa. One more. Clay page and loops. One more. By the way, by the way, everybody, you cannot DI that. <laughs> I thought at one point you could SDI that. You can. You're just stuck, bro. <laughs> Ooh, that up smash. Big caught. scoops. Okay, I respect that. Yeah, you know, you're coming down with high frames. Arm Mace order. Well. Ooh, 50, 64 percent. Okay, 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 okay. This is a game. Yeah, this is definitely a game. Yeah, you should definitely brought it back. All right, nice patience on the shield, though. Big boy Rob getting just barely caught by that clay pigeon, but Fawn not able to finish the conversion. Okay, yeah, and yeah, and Dill just running away from that clay pigeon. Oh, the gyro caught the can. And, yeah, and that's what you mentioned earlier. The gyro, <laughs> gyro supremacy, just one of these projectiles. Sakurai liked better. <laughs> oh, oh, one, one, one character set of projectiles <laughs> Sakurai liked better. We'll just put it that way. Um, yeah, and that's a great recatch by Dill also. Um, but um, yeah, and this is the first doc, the first arm murder. And this is why, man, Rob is, Rob is a character. Yeah. Died, it, died after hit at 61%. Yeah, I think it was like 31 prior. Yeah, didn't, did not even got hit at 61 after hit 61%. Yep. All right, so small battlefield is Fawn's counter pick, which I absolutely agree with. I think this is this is definitely Fawn's best stage, or at the very least, it's it seems to be a comfort stage. Oh yeah, 100%. I I feel like she gets a lot of her setups off of these platforms and the distance between the platforms also. Tried to get the the combo breaker side B. There it is again. I've never seen that before. Usually, usually the duck hunt smash can because it's frame one. But the clay pigeon actually trading, and you know what? It, it was almost ben beneficial for her. Yeah, I think that may be like a matchup specific thing because Rob is such a big body. You know, you can get away with doing clay pigeon, and that might even give Fawn enough time to uh, start confirming. Right, at the ledge right now, reading the getup attack, but not able to get the second clay pigeon. Ooh. Yeah, the, yeah, I feel like this is this is definitely a much better fa stage for Fawn, mostly because she can close the gap on Rob a lot better. Absolutely. All right, so he's not high recovery. 
Another one. Got a nair. Oh, nair. And there, like we were saying before, the laser yeah. just going through everything. It doesn't matter how many meat shields you have in front of you. The laser will find you. Great patience by Fawn and able yep. to get the stock out of it, too. Yeah, and, and you know, with, with that Rotom Arm, it's like if you're a Dill in that situation, you go for it, just lean into it, right? Don't mm -hmm. fade back with it. And, and you know, that could, could have potentially been like an extra hitbox that went out there, but... Yeah, but right now, this 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 stage is definitely working out a lot better. A lot more confirms, a lot more damage adding up very quickly for Fawn. Yeah, 64% already, and just barely able to avoid that second arm rotor. Back throw not quite doing it just yet, but there yeah. we go. And taking that trade, you know, that, that trade, if you already know you're going to lose the stock, that trade is very valuable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good damage. Dill already climbing to these red percentages. And I love the use Ooh. of Can from Fawn, just placing it at that platform, forcing Dill to retreat and find a, a different space to try and zone from. It's crazy. Dill just down tilted Fawn's shield like eight times in a row, and Duck Hunt almost couldn't do anything because their out of shield options aren't that great. No, yeah. I think your best you have is like an air out of shield. Unless you do up smash out of shield. Right? That, yeah. That also scoops. Yeah, that's a, a second up smash for Dill's second stock. So Fawn, Fawn's sitting pretty here in this game too. Only 58% on their second stock. Ooh, great SDI by Dill. Just barely getting out of that uh, up air. But right back into the blender, already at 72%. Yeah, and Fawn's just waiting on the stage, waiting for Dill to land. And yeah, yeah, just waiting, yeah, just waiting for the mash back down to the ground. It's just like, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Wow, that caught, nair barely hit. Yeah, caught Dill mashing one too many down tilts. Yeah, because like you know, that move does degrade over time, right? If if a uh, Rob is hitting your shield that many times with down tilt, at after the third one, I'm almost trying to punish. <laughs> the can. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? I think the can got hit by Gyro. Yeah. All right, easy arm rotor. Don't have to worry about timing and get that uh, second stock, but... Oh, don't... Slide in F-tilt. Yeah, I was about to say, don't get cheesed. But please. Nope, oh, Fawn staying calm and collected, taking that game two. Moving us to our uh, game three. Yeah, that de definitely clutched it out, and... Um, Dill thinks she would get hit by the can. That's why, that's why she air dodged in, but... Um, Shax would have been fine. Um, but, you know, good setup by Fawn. And now we're going to go to Kalos. Oh, my God. Come on, Kalos. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that Fawn left that stage on the table. Yeah, Fawn's bands were TNC and Battlefield. Ooh, I, don't, I don't understand the Battlefield one, but I get the TNC because we just saw what happened yeah. in Tiny City, right? But oof, the Battlefield one, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know about that band. I don't but know that I've ever seen Dill go to Battlefield other than like a button check on Midgar. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. There, there, there definitely has to be a reason. love Battlefield. Yeah. Really? Okay. Oh, yeah. Big Blast Zone, Rob is heavy, and specifically the color Dill uses makes the, the gyro actually harder to see on the Battlefield. This is actually really funny, but, and it's tra also tragic. For everyone else, nefarious. But yeah, also yeah, like uh, there's a lot of gy uh, gyro tricks you can do on the battlefield height platform. So it applies to Smattlefield as well, being like slow gyro and stuff like that, where you do like full hop, uh, instant. Uh, Was it no charge gyro and it like catches the ground and then immediately falls in front. So like, Rob's got tricks he's there. Okay, learning a lot, learning a lot. Town. I don't know. I mean, like, if you're going to die off the side arm rotor, does the blast zone really matter? Well, I, I mean, that, but that's the thing, though. I, I, I just feel like on town, uh, she was getting cornered a lot more. And being put in those situations on those platforms. Um, yeah, but. Yeah, I, very, I mean, very similar to this stage. It's just that this stage has a huge. has battlefield blast zones. Like, you know. Like, yeah. if you had to pick, you really want Rob to live longer? I don't know. We're gonna see. Well, well, fun. Well, fun's in the lead. 166 percent. 166 after a hit and still alive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that would have killed on uh, TNT. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah. 
Taking Fawn's, stock. Fawn's making it work. 68% to zero. Great. You know, and and right now, um, yeah, Fawn, Fawn's pushing the tent right now. On that Kalos platform, standing under it with a can and a gunman and a dream. I, I, I mean, I would think that, like, the way that Fawn usually likes to set up, uh, like, projectiles and stuff, I feel like the Kalos platforms usually wouldn't you be... You died. Oh. Okay. I thought we were going to get one more rep. Yeah. I feel like the Kalos platforms wouldn't usually be, like, conducive to those types of setups, but right now, oh, Fawn is making... What? Oh, that was OD. Uh, that, <laughs> that was gross. That was OD. I did not even see that. <laughs> Ooh, okay, yeah, yeah, fun, yeah, fun's up in the driver's seat right now. This clay pigeon stuff, <laughs> this, this clay pigeon stuff is insane. Is, it, is this new tech? Is this new tech I haven't seen One before? More. Oh, you died. You died. Just like that. You died. BG, shake my hand. That's that's why you leave Kalos open. That platform right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, th th no, the thing is, yeah. like, I, I thought that platform would help Dill a lot more but you know what i didn't account for a fawn playing that way with the callus callus platform right which is which is which is why I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna start my thing but what that all the plant stages are actually different and have different characters. i'm not i'm not i'm not starting that i'm not starting that i'm not starting that i'm not starting that i'm not starting they're actually not all the same and they play completely different i'm not have drastically I'm, different blast zones i'm not starting you're not it. starting it i am <laughs> it's fine <laughs> but um, and that PS2 is actually a more zoning-friendly sage than any of these. Uh, mm. Mm. Well, um, that was a dominant performance by Fawn. Um, yeah. The clay pigeon stuff went, that we saw in game two, where she just started breaking out of um, like scramble situations, mm -hmm. right? Just I don't know what frame clay pigeon comes out on, um, but I'm assuming it's pretty fast, at least as fast, almost as fast as can. I think so, um, yeah. I yeah, think it spawns frame one, but yeah. like the shots don't have until like frame nine or sixteen or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, if the clay the clay pigeon was spawning and there was a, and uh, yeah, she was trading and um, it robbed Dill of a lot of stocks. I oh think. yeah, I mean at, the last stock was pretty much a reversal, mm -hmm. right? Where um, Dill went for a grab and she just threw out clay pigeon and it traded and she won the trade and got a combo off of it, yeah. right? And uh, yeah, and that's how we, oof, oof, three stock. That's, that's why you leave Kalos open. Three stock. Uh, was it mm -hmm. three stock? That was a three stock. Was yeah, it was a three-stop. That was three a three-stop. Yeah. yeah, great stuff from Fawn. Fawn yeah. really coming out and killing yeah, yeah. it. And I, and, I, and I have to emphasize, you cannot SDI Clay Pigeon. Yeah. That, is, that <laughs> is a myth. I've I've once heard of those words, and I was wrong. That is a myth. You cannot SDI that move. That move destroys you. It has You're, a zero multiplier. Yeah, what, like, what the Gross. hell, Sakurai? See?